Hello and welcome to experiment number 3. Aim of experiment number 3 is amplitude demodulation and introduction of the amplitude modulation. In amplitude modulation, the input signal is the message signal and another one is the carrier signal. Message signal is the low frequency signal, carrier signal is a high frequency signal. And the output of the modulation is the Career amplitude of the message, career amplitude of the career signal is changed according accordance with the message signal. And uh, for in this case, our aim is to amplitude demodulation. For amplitude demodulation, here we are using the envelope detector circuit. And apparatus required in this experiment is function generator, DSO, digital storage oscilloscope, probes, breadboards diode, resistor and capacitors and this is a circuit diagram of our envelope detector for amplitude demodulation ok this one is our input signal in this case for demodulation input is always the AM modulated signal so this one is AM modulated signal and amplitude of the carrier is changed accordance with the amplitude of the message signal this one is our input AM signal ok and it's, this circuit is consist of the first part is the diode. Diode is work as a rectifier. And it tip the negative portion of the AM input signal. Okay. So a diode is in forward bias. Then positive cycle of this waveform is passed. And diode is off. Means clip the negative portion. Okay. And this RC combination is used for reconstructing our modulating signal. That was our message signal. Then we have generated the message signal and this capacitor is used for block the DC component of our signal ok this is our output of the demodulated signal and in this case we have used FC equal 100 kilohertz FM equal to 1.5 kilo, kilohertz and value of RC is between these two ok and we will move to the actual hardware experiment ok this one is our first one is the top part this this part is our digital oscilloscope and uh, this one is channel 1 channel 2 and this one is our function generator and uh, uh, here this block part green block part is used for lower frequency signal that one is for message signal and this outer part is used for our higher carrier frequency signals for in this our modulation experiment case and uh, <coughs> this first generator output is connected to the channel 1 means this function generator gives the output for our higher frequency signal that take from that generator output and that given to the channel 1 ok so in this case here right now we have 102.96 kilohertz frequency and this is the amplitude and we have taken the output from here and give the channel 1 and this uh, frequency is here you can control frequency from this frequency variable button ok right now is 103 104.13 kilohertz so output is display 1.04.14 uh, kilohertz this one is the output that one is your carrier frequency ok and next we will set the message frequency ok so at that time first on the mode generation ok in this case first select the here mode G that mode G press enter button this mode is on means this green part is on and then change the probe and put here modulation generated output ok and here frequency is 1.36 kilohertz ok here we set here auto button is there you can press on auto button <laughs> So you can see the output here is a 1.36 kilohertz that one is your message signal okay and then press escape here 
ओके और मैसेज फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सेट कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सेट एंड देन वी विल मूव फॉर और मॉड्यूलेशन आउटपुट तो दैट मॉड्यूलेशन आउटपुट वी विल टेक फ्रॉम जनरेटर आउटपुट ओके तो दैट चेंज द प्रो ओके एंड हियर यू चूज मोड राइट नाउ मोड प्रेस एंटर एंड हियर चूज मोड ए एम एस बिकॉज हियर वी विल जनरेट द एम्प्लूड मोडिटेड सिग्नल द मोड इज ए एम एस फॉर एम्प्लूड मोडिशन तो दिस वन इज अवर ए एम मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल दैट वन इज अवर इनपुट सिग्नल टू द एनवेल ऑफ सर्किट ओके दिस वन इज अवर ए एम मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल ओके एंड दिस ए एम मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल इज अप्लाइड टू द इनपुट टू दर एनवेल ऑफ डिटेक्टर सर्किट ओके तो वी हैव अ एम्प्लूड सिग्नल एम्प्लूड मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल ए एम सिग्नल द मोड ए एम एस ऑलरेडी एंड this generator output is our we have generated the input signal amplitude modulated signal that applied to the input to the analog detector circuit and here the diode this one is positive one is negative terminal is there and the positive is connect uh, uh, the one terminal is connected to the input to the diode this black part this black color one component is a diode component our and then the parallel is rc circuit r and c and then connect another capacitor also there and the variable resistor is there and the uh, our diode is in forward bias at that time that clip the our m modulated signal and the rc component that used for reconstruct that back or message signal so message signal is our 1 kilohertz frequency so and this one is our hardware then output is taken from the point b in our circuit okay and this one terminal is ground one is positive terminal and then connect to the channel 2 on the digital storage oscilloscope and uh, this one is our reconstruct back signal some noise is there but frequency is near 1 kilohertz 1.0 65 kilohertz okay so we have given the 1 kilohertz message signal and we have reconstruct back using analog detector circuit that one also match near 1. Point, near frequency that 1.0 65 kilohertz okay thank you